Hey, it's Mr. Random Pop Culture News for KK, Mr. Manny Wolverine. You guys can write to Apple Storage's channel. Find me on my social media links such as Twitter, X, Instagram, all that good stuff. Links to AOL and hashtag down below. Links to this guy's channel down below. Um, that was a guy that started the introduction. I decided to cut him out. But still, links to his channel down below just to give extra credit. I don't want to take all the credit. I know this is over a week old, eight days ago. By the time you guys see this, it, probably eight days ago. Who knows? But there was another one on Cryptid. I wanted to show you really, really quick. I thought it was cool as heck, honestly, to be honest with you guys. Full response. This is only September 12th when it came out, too, so this is some pretty wild stuff, honestly. Hopefully. <laughs> if it's still recording, I don't know if it's recording or not. I'm losing the news on thing. AZ recorder thing, whatever. All right, so yeah, it's still there. It wasn't recording, my bad. So this was September 12th, 2020, on September 11th. I got to say 12th because... And only that 9 11 11. This was only three days ago. This was new. Dead Rock Game Studio confirms after layoffs of Goody Nighter Spot. If you want to wait all the way to the end when I get to that part, links down below to the duration spot. But right now, we're just reacting to Dr. Disrespect. Just saying. Before I even get into it, yeah, I know the dude's a clown and all that. He was always a clown to me, but it's a super clown. <laughs> Guy being me. He's still in his freaking. Honestly, it's his cosplay. That's really all it is. Honestly. It's really the proof's in the pudding right there, but it's on 1.5. It's going to be way super fast because I actually got work to do in an hour, IRL physical work. So it's going to be coming out way left field. So I'll be saying installing. Let's truly get into it. I'm going to have to waste your time. Let's really get into yeah, it. Yeah, just keep ignoring the issue and putting up this act. God, I'm so concerned and worried about everyone else's problems except mine. Because Links in search about down below to the original video, okay? This is whatever I got to say, my transparency and inputs, it'll be there. I'm dealing with a deeper depression than I like to project. Oh, champs, champs, champs. A lot of people donating. I, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. You know? Are you nervous to be back? After what's transpired over the last couple months, am I excited to be back to this type of world? And I'm not a psychologist or a therapist or anything like that, but the way he's moving is like, Chua, tch, tch, tch. oh, come on. Let's go, champs. Come on, champs. We're in there. Hang in there, champs. It's just, I can't take the fool seriously. This is a 47, 48 year old grown man. Almost old enough to be my uncle. If he was like 10, 15 years old, I'd be old enough to be my uncle or my dad. And it's a damn shame seeing this dude like, into my personal MK Ultra psychological breakdown. But it's again, I'm not a therapist, psychiatric, or a shrink, or a therapist. Can't really call that claim, but the way I see it, and I swear this ain't Dr. Disrespect from shit, it's old school Deadpool. I still gotta watch that Web Deadpool Wolverine thing. I don't know. I don't, really don't want to buy Disney Plus 20 bucks just to watch for free, but uh, force on my hand or not. Man. He's stalling a lot, bro. He really. Oh. Let's get going. So glad you're back. Hey, I appreciate it, Shane. It's good to be back to a certain degree. Right, we got to figure out this monetization thing. So it's like soul crush. Even though, granted, I know the whole allegations I've been hearing for like months for the past two and a half freaking years. And they even talked about this dude. I know it's a talk about another dude, but thanks for the 500. I usually don't say this unless you guys are brand new or my old subscribers are watching or my brand new, brand new people are just coming in. The whole phase clan thing that I talked about, that hit 500 freaking views. I was like, Taking it back on that. I know it was about drama, but man, I didn't even call him that much. The only thing I called him was like the nicest thing was a piece of turd crap, and that's it one time. That's it. But I felt bad for the dude if he truly was losing his house. The banker dude. But anyways, yeah. Get to the doc. The doctor disrespect. Let's go, champs. We're gonna go in. We're the San Francisco 49ers, yeah. That's a whole nineteen eighties gig, bro. You know, Grand I was born way edge of that freaking era, eighty nine. It's just so fucking cringe to see a grown man do this shit. And I'm a grown man, too. I'm wrong. I'm going to be 36 in a couple months, so I ain't got no right to talk to myself. But I'm almost a baby compared to this dude. And I even know better than I to act like a befuddled fucking fool. An imbecile on the internet like that. In my opinion, I'm just saying. September 25th. And this dude's married with a wife and a kid, too. On top of that. He's making himself the worst low cause. And all the allegations of him doing rape and assaults and all that shit end up being real. He gets to go to prison for the rest of his life. That shit falls on him, not me. I feel bad for his fans that are, he's still trying to influence and brainwash, saying, oh, I'm the, I'm the good guy. I take shit to strive. I remember what he said on Twitter. I remember this really well. 
It's like he didn't give a crap what he said. This could be an alleged rapist, mal lava luster, lava luster. It's bad too. I seriously hate censoring myself. Is is basically when we can reapply for a partnership on YouTube. You know, people ask, do I? I don't know if you dudes are even gonna let that dude back. I'm, you know, there are a billion trillion dollar companies like Google, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and fucking who knows what else. I guess SoundCloud, Samsung. <laughs> They'll do anything for that freaking dollar, no matter how many evil, dirty, minuscule criminal acts these people do. It's sad. It's the way this world be system, antichrist system us. Now that you're not getting monetized, you're not gonna be streaming ever again, or you're on YouTube, are you? I I'm, there's an opportunity to reapply, right? September 25th is the date. So in the meantime, we'll- Almost around the corner. We'll do what we need to do. Uh, I enjoy my time here on YouTube. You know, we've built a nice, strong community for years. This is where we started. 16. I'm greeting on that, man, but man, <laughs> I'm not taking this dude's side or anything, man. He did it for a while, too. He, he just like how he did with Twitch, unless the whole Twitch whispers allegation still lingering behind him, he's probably sweating it like a mother after off camera. He's got to be pissing and shitting his pants like a little fucking girl, in my opinion. Just saying, though, man. He's got to watch what he says. Practice what you preach, my guy. Here's a doll. 2008, I think. You know? God. I like my time here. And I like the community. It's, we've got the best, realist gaming community, right? The Champions Club. And we've, we've built it on this platform. And this is, and if there's an opportunity to reapply for partnership, and there's a date that's been presented to us, then I'm going to take it. In the meantime, like we always done, we've always stayed in our lane. We'll stay in our lane and continue to just put on a show, you know? And that's what makes him a super client. He's putting on a show, bro. That's no different from what people in the 70s, 80s, even before I was, way before I was alive, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, they used to do in the old school tube of television, like old school Gen Xers and way actual literal boomers, which a few of them are still alive. There's very, very few actual literal boomers, physical ones that are like 95 to 105, or very few small finger fold, finger selective few, or probably 110 over there, unless they're living in like Asia, like the Dalai Lama, like what happened to him? I don't want to bring that shit up again because I know it happened last year. I talked about it on my backup channel. I think I talked about it on Bitch You Brighty on Rumble. Because I didn't know what the hell I'm talking about. And if any of you guys remember the Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama, he, he tried to justify, like, doing some real nasty, disgusting, literally vomit-inducing, vomit-wrenching. I threw up in my mouth, like, three times when I first heard about this shit last year. When he did this to a child, a literal child. It's out there, too. It's just not misinformation, disinformation, or any of this bullshit. It's legit. Facts are out there. Old school shit. Boomer places like New York Times, New York Post, LA Times, Washington Post, all those old school ones, Associated Press, BBC, all these other ones that are the old school grandparents. Even a real shitty mainstream media one, the Dalai Lama, he, he put one of his freaking bodily fluids like around here, his mouth, on another child's, you know, nose or whatever. And that's absolutely mega evil. And Dr. Disrespect did the same thing. Oh, and then they try to justify, oh, no, Buddhism, Catholicism, it's a, it's a, it's, you can't discriminate on those religions. Because if you do that, and this video is probably going to suppress after I said that, but if you do that, you're being a racist and bigot and you're an instant phobe and all this. It's a mess. It's a jamble and a mess. This world's an effed up place. Gonna survival of the fittest, you know, like they say. Old school shit. Like, <laughs> that dude I said, I'm not trying to get the school you know what out. Something intuition. Not something intuition, but like um, something selection, natural selection shit. Scary stuff. I'm not in that whole genetics, like evil, evil stuff that the short, tiny little freaking short mustache dude was into. I'm not in eugenic shit, dude. That's extra. My personal opinion, devil, Satan, and Baphomet shit. Baphomet crap. Evil, evil. I'm For almost four years, champs, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all... To be clear, allegedly, I'm not trying to get no, no lawyers or doctors or doctors spec of God forbid if he sees this video. I'm not trying to get lose sued by the law too, but that's just the way I see it. Stating an opinion, that's it. I don't got no skin in the game on this YouTube shit. I'm just addressing my opinion, my thoughts, and my my intuition, how I see about this stuff. I'm not saying accusing Dr. Speck of being part of like Kabbalic, Satanic, Baphomet, like New World Order, Freemason, Illuminati shit. I'm not. Unless he did to deal with the San Francisco 49ers, like he did. Hope he didn't have to seal his contract in blood with that or some banking place in Europe. Then he might have been, but God forbid. I'm not saying he's a part of those places like Bohemian Grove and all that shit either. 
I hope he ain't. He ain't. Missed the point with my personal statement. Maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. Huh, champs? You see, there was a lawsuit pending, and as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, champs, again, I respected all the confidential obligations. <laughs> mm -mm. But apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Cody Connor to be fair, I'm not playing devil's advocate like I am a little bit. A lot of those dudes, I'm not going to be lie, but they're probably like big ass freaking dudes, probably four or five hundred pounds. Bigger than me, probably. A lot of them, sadly, is, look what happened to Twitch last year. That became almost prime hub for a little bit. At the end of December, I didn't get to talk about it because I usually take like a month or month and a half off when it's December, early January. Sometimes I'll come back almost February. When the time New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and um, MLK Day, and Chinese New Year's over, I'll take a little break. Because I can't, thank God. <laughs> I did hear. I remember, like, when all those female virtual VTubers, not trying to accuse all the female VTubers, you know, but a lot of the moderators and people that are disgruntled Twitch employees, the ones that work over there in Canada, a lot of them are probably simps. They're these really hot, beautiful women. Super, extremely, 10 out of 10, 200 out of 10, extremely mega ultra. In my personal opinion, yeah, I'm not trying to be a simp about it either. They're trying to kiss their ass and kiss their tits and their pussy and their ass and their vagina and kiss their breast or any of that stuff or their buttholes or any of that and worship them either. Like, they put OF fan chicks on there. Female lewd virtual VTuber chicks. Not all of them are lewd either. Some of them, some of these girls that are virtual VTubers, some of them are sweet, nice, down to earth chicks. That's what they represent themselves as. And other of them are very not safe for work. The not safe for work ones, they let them run rampant for like two months straight. So I think February is when they locked it down. Because a lot of the simps that were working on Twitch have all these super hot ass female VTuber chicks. And a lot of these OF fans and Chatterbait and all these other places. Not safe for workplaces like cam girls, model chicks are extremely mega ultra beautiful, sexy, gorgeous, hot, and very, very beautiful, easy on the eyes. Extremely easy for me. Sometimes I fall in that guilt tripping of lustfulness of women and all that shit. They probably let a lot of them get away with that stuff. But grown men, like the big, giant, thick beards and thick mustaches, like him, yeah, that's probably the reason why they attacked Dr. Speck. Not trying to play Dazzle's ass good, I was for a little bit though. I'm not defending Dr. Speck either, I don't know anything barely at all about this i don't know my IRL. never had a beer or wine with him never smoked a cigar or a cigarette or a vape with him or any of that shit never met him physically in person but that's just the vibe and the intuition than the freaking tunnel vision i kind of sort of see i know tunnel vision is bad that's the best perspective i could put in transparency ex twitch employee was even involved leaks twitch's reported reason years later cody why why you why do this cody Conn, what was the point about that? this was settled professionally and you knowing how black and white the internet is you decided you fucking rat to leak the reported reason twitch banned me in 2020 well, i mean for what cody why did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time did you not know the repercussions of accusing me cody connors you see you don't know shit and it was obvious from your tweet you didn't have any first-hand knowledge of my dispute with twitch you said that i got banned from twitch because i was sexting a minor through whispers messages <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is i do and yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also said the word minor, Cody. Can't say that, because all oh, those leaks are all out in the open on the World Wide Web. It's way out there on every other platform beyond Twitter and Instagram. There's probably parts on Reddit and 4chan that's on there now. So, he screwed himself in the able there. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> And boy, oh boy, did that's funny. I'm not trying to bring the dudes up. I guess Mr. Beast right now, Jimmy Donaldson, <laughs> he's probably not sweating in his back. It's all eyes are this for Dr. Disrespect. And he's getting more fuel to the fire than a lot of his haters. But hey, eh, whatever. I'm not here to judge, but I kind of am. Yeah, for champs. When you and all these so called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists, and neither did Twitch. At the word for the time of the ban. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else, and in fact, we... Not what the leaks and pictures say, buddy, so... <laughs> Somebody could have fabricated it, though. I don't know. I'm defending the dude. Never met. In person. Ever. 
your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. I suspect all of you sort of planned and coordinated this attack. These big time publications, these, these journalists, these various outlets are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now, don't you think, Chance? They act like they're just gossip channels now without any real journalism and real research happening. Mm. They reported on all this based on leaks from two former Twitch employees, one of whom was supposedly on the trust and safety team. If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, then you would hope they would tell the truth. But apparently that's just too much to ask. If these former trust and safety team members, and by the way, I know exactly who they are, <laughs> actually had firsthand knowledge, then what they conveniently left out is, one, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. And oh, two... I'm probably going to get a whole bunch of lawyers, DA, district attorney, law enforcement agencies, and prosecutors. All those Twitch dudes that are employees, they're probably going to freaking go his jugular really, really bad, jump at his throat. Their doctor just speck on that in the court, court of law. I don't know if the justice can throw it out, or he's really going to freaking do something about it. Well, no. And Doc... If he's still got a shit ton of money left from all those endorsements and all those advertising sponsorships he's done over the past several plus years, he better lawyer the fuck up to him. Just saying. Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. That never happened. Mm -hmm. I even used the word inappropriate, purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. And a lot of the stuff, some of these AI things, some of them could be fake articles. Like that other shit, like if any guys, that, this is what made me old ass freaking boomer and I'm a millennial, but I've seen these things, like the National Enquirer, shit like that, or New York Compost, or freaking... <laughs> or freaking oh my god if any guys remember the onion or even the other super fake shit like huff posts and bailey bees or how that shit used to be i remember you see a lot of those are way way fake ass ai generated article fake bullshit ass freaking news stories headlines so they attack doc i feel bad from a tiny bit a sliver of it but i don't know we'll see in due time i mean uh, how would each of you look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words. Mm. And this is not a situation where a victim publicly accuses someone of wrongdoing. That never happened here. We're talking about allegations that Twitch made against me as a half-baked reason for justifying their actions of suspending and shutting down my channel. Allegations that Twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal! <laughs> you see, I engaged with my... Oh, wow. Yes. Extra heated. This is what happened to freaking. <laughs> like what happened to Andrew Tate and Logan Paul when Coffeezilla went after him. He erupted there. I did not expect that. Oh. I engage with other streamers. And through Twitch whispers, I That's communicate with Twitch users. Conversations that consisted of a variety of playing games and gaming politics, content creation, random stuff. This was the extent of my whispers with this Twitch user. On June 21st, 2020, my ex Twitch partner manager learns that I exchanged whispers with a Twitch user. <laughs> and I say ex partner manager because for years, this guy didn't do anything for me, my community, or my channel. For years. Mm. I'm talking no front page love. You're talking about the face of the platform, right? Literally, the face of the platform. We heart, and I know Champions Club remembers this. We got, we got zero front page love on the website. Uh, he was never on my channel. He didn't follow me on Twitter. I'm like, oh, I know my pre pre big time chance members remember this that's like some my personal opinion that's like freaking not burdening but like not even beyond parasocial relationship there's a very very huge special word for that he's like freaking not even procrastinating he's bantering not bantering he's putting on this thing he's putting on that facade to his other things he's out leaning that's what it is he's there's a special actual word for it. i'm gonna go on google and try to find out what it is he's like He's level-heading it to his other freaking fans. That, yeah, we're all in this together. We, us, our, it, us, our. All of us. All in one, long and all. Like, he, he's trying to, like, he's, like, world-building from his, he's world-building, he's throwing all of his, like, sins in front of his, like, 
fans, his hardcore dedicated fans, and making it into his own. Like, we're, we're a cool Twitch family. That's fucked up. I'm way messed up. He, he wouldn't even inform us about Twitch rival tournaments. We're talking about the two time Twitch rival tournament. Oh, I'm sorry. I, God, I, would you, would you want to play in it? We got zero support from this guy. And it was just so obvious that he carried a grudge against the two time. So after we. He's venting over. He's ventilating over his fans. That's what signed is. with Twitch in 2019. We asked for a new partner manager, and just a few months later, that ex Twitch partner manager is directly involved. He's with trying to downplay all this shit, and this could be some real shit. With heat going off his ass too. Me no. banned. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> I feel like you want to come over here. I can tell. I wish it was something commercial and something we're back. The Twitch user tells the ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. I'll repeat that sentence one more time just in case anybody missed that one. The Twitch user tells his ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex-Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch, even though the user told them clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. I missed that part there. I was probably wasn't even, probably had to work double time on my other old job in 2020. Plus, the world was on a global lockdown of the scam, you know, what it, that was going on. The crazy shutdown of the world. And shut down technology for a little bit too with the chips and half of the PS5s at that time. <clears throat> that would have been the end. <laughs> That should have been the end. But that partner manager. Oh boy, oh boy, did he add it out. Yeah, he had it out for the two time. He finds out that no further action will be taken, so what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the Twitch's law enforcement response team. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER. I don't even know that the team exists, unless he's just making it up with his ass. LER team. So a day later, on June 25th. The LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins discussing them with his director of the LER team. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time and does not have access to their computer or work files. L let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi a, a, a big time arbitration, okay? And, uh, you know, you discover a lot of stuff. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time. The LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate, even when they aren't. Within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Shame. Twitch submits a report to NC. Oh, he's crying over spilled milk, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. MEC. You guys all read those little articles, huh? The NCMEC. Twitch submits that report. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement. <laughs> Mind you, the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Ooh, he sounds, he sounds really, really, not bed stricken about it, but <laughs> he sounds like he's still got a freaking... Grudge with that shit. Which makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never wants to have a million or billion lifestyle, but Twitch is still screwing him over even though he's on YouTube. Right? Investigated the age of consent and a jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! Whoa, where did that freaking anger educate from? See? See, I'm not sure. See, I never really watched a bunch of Dr. Disrespect live stream. I watched a bunch of clips here and there. What he was a part of, what he's associated with, and it's like freaking affiliated with. I don't know. <laughs> he was probably just doing it for the almighty dollar, in my opinion. I don't care if that sounds cold bloody, but to me, it's on my viewpoint, to me, how I see it. These people are burnt out about it, too. They can ah, ah, unbelievable. Oh my god, fuck. I'm not gonna get into every detail regarding my legal case. It's fucking unhinged. It's like, come on, dude. Really? Get over yourself. You're a damn near almost 50 year old man. You're still taking gripes. Just take the loss and move on, my guy. Come on. <clears throat> Ridiculous. But these former Twitch employees that claim to have first hand knowledge, they just don't have a clue. They didn't report any facts. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. So then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, why did Twitch treat the doc so differently from their other streamers? 
I mean, outside of the obvious. I mean, just take a look at me. <laughs> Unfiltered. The realest motherfucker in this industry. Six foot eight. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, no. He's throwing out nihilism and narcissism on the realest motherfucker in this industry. Yeah. 1980s old school macho badass. If that was a 90s kid, he would have done this when it was a 90s kid. And if social media platforms would have existed like YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, God forbid, then got kicked in and says, in other places such as the Discord app and besides YouTube. <clears throat> what else? A whole bunch of other things. Right there, 4chan Newgrounds all would have existed back in those days. I probably would have kissed his ass and freaking kissed his freaking nuts. Worship this, idolize this dude. Thank God. This came at a time way, way later on. And technology started getting way more advanced in 2010s and beyond after I was live streaming all that much. Athletic, successful, college degree, college athlete, bourbon business, gaming studio, beautiful family. And trust me, we've worked hard for over a decade to improve as a person, a husband, and father, and to get where we're at today. I mean, I'm in such a good place today. And all these people, they all act like they're just so perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. I'm not saying he's taking menthols or methamphetamines or fentanyl. It looks like he's kind of like tweaking out. He's like a tweaker. It's like sniffing his nose, no nuts. And I'm not a body language, like body, like freaking like the reader. I, I can't really read people. Like I'm not an observationist, but my armchair perspective on this, that's just kind of how I'm viewing it. And it looks like he's an alcoholic, freaking druggy a little bit. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to sound like an a-hole. I'm just saying. My Sometimes I do. But I also didn't do all the shit that they're saying I did. But then that doesn't make a story, right? They want media attention. The media wants controversy. They do. And by sensationalizing all this with big and accurate headlines like sexting and sexually explicit, you all got what you wanted at the expense of the two time. The reality is they wanted to cut down the dock, plain and simple. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. I've got some examples right here. Example number one, a streamer that frequently used the N-word while publicly streaming which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies of accompanied by hateful intent. Well, that's what I show speed or the dude's case on that. Or that trick ice was, and that would have been different. Because they're African-American black. And they say, my, my niggas needed all that. And then one. He's white. And then again, I'm a little bit of Dominican. And I'm Puerto Rican, so it's okay if I say that. That's a whole other separate video for a whole other time I'll probably never do. Twitch scheduled a meeting with the streamer to assert his intent to determine whether his conduct was a violation of Twitch's policies. Hold on. Step on toes with that either. Huh? TOS. TOS and NDAs. Non-disclosure agreements. Those are a bitch. Really determining it was not a breach of Twitch's policies. Okay. Why wasn't I called into a, from, into a meeting? Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Now, hopefully he didn't kind of need his contract and blood either. I was just talking about that earlier. Mm. Contract. Case. Example number two. Agreements. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things. I think contractual agreements. I'm not an economist or a lawyer or an accountant. I'm just saying. With deceased animals and discussing pedophilia, all while live streaming, never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. Example number three, streamer was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves, never suspended, but instead hmm, given a multi-million dollar contract. Ooh, that's crazy. It's a big take. It's so obvious that certain Twitch executives, employees involved had personal biases against the doc and used all this as an opportunity to terminate my contract. Go back and look at the timing of all this too. Huh. The doc's termination lines up with two preferable, profitable, and expensive streamers leaving Mixer. Huh. Our website's dead now, Mixer. As soon as Twitch knew that Mixer had failed, and go look at the timing. These other expensive streamers needed a new streaming platform. So Twitch rushed through its decision to terminate the two-time. You see, I shouldn't even be banned from Twitch. It has affected us on so many levels. Back in 2020, and now in 2024. Hmm. Still looks shit about it. And Cody Connors, I just have to say it again. I keep calling it that dude Cody Connors. I haven't done my research and freaking stuff on him. That's probably a drama rabbit hole. I don't want to get into the bald anyways, period. Why would you do this? Like I said, this was handled professionally years ago. No fucking wrongdoing. But because of you, Cody, we just lost. Ah, fuck, man. Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society. Right? Because of you, Cody. Looks strong out. You know, through all this, we are where we are. And like a fucking man, I'll accept it. But I don't accept to sit quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations. No. See, 
that would have been a better thing to do if you were a real man in my opinion you would just let all this bullshit slide and keep doing your thing and ignore it bro ignore it not assess the situation poking the bear and the lion in the cage and that's what you're doing you're feeding the trolls you're feeding a lot of evil ass motherfuckers and maybe some very very good people you're choking them by the throat you're giving them a choke slam that's no good in my opinion for all these dock haters out there too oh man the real version of a male man in my opinion alpha male Sorry. One that project and project and project and project and worry about everyone else's problems, right? I, I can't understand that mindset. I don't know. I could care less. We've always stayed in our lane. He's projecting to his audience like that, too, and that's extremely dangerous. But somehow, some of these people, they just get in our lane. For all you doc haters, I'm sure you'll just, like, dissect all of this and still find a way to publicly criticize me. Do what you need to do. I'll say this. This isn't for you. This was for my team today, my community, my friends, the familia that have supported me. And I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. I'm not denying that to, to all of you out there. It looks bad. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch users thought our exchange of whispers was inappropriate. If it was, I apologize. All I, all I know is that I never did what Twitch, Cody Connors, or the public is claiming that I did. So there's a ton of information there. I think Jake is going to do a breakdown in a few days, too. He is in Texas, of course, right now. He went early. But one of the biggest gripes that people seem to have is that we still just want to see whatever the messages are. There's a lot of talk on... Now, this is the guy. So I'm going to credit to this dude right here. <laughs> I didn't even give thoughts to using pain speculation. I had said everything I had to say. I'm just going to get on to the next news article, and I'll see you in a quick second, guys. So I got IRL work I got to do. My hotel scene after that. So this was the brand new news that just happened literally four days ago. I'm gonna say September 12th because YouTube does a night that number after eight, the number after nine, and the number with the two ones in it. I can't say that one at all. So we'll just say September 12th when it came out. After cutting ties with the co-founder and popular stream Dr. Spock in June, Midnight nice Society confirmed sizable staff cuts. So half of them, I don't know, they were dirty. Like God forbid that they were child diddlers. They were freaking child diddlers and all that other mess. Now, yeah, that's why half of them got fired or cut down. So Midnight Society, it's those, I thought half of them got fired. All the associates, the one he built, his empires, digital empires, going through fan flames really bad. So I'm not going to use half of them. I've been the whole entire time. Game studio behind, yeah, Midnight Society, you think Game Studio behind the shooter game, Dead Drop, confirmed that significant layoffs. This is from decrypt.com, so I'll see if I leave that link down below. But, uh, excuse me took place after starting to post about the move on social media the layoffs on three months after the company announced that quote terminating its relationship with dr disrespect all right hold on there you go i made myself smaller <laughs> dr disrespect previously confirmed the allegations but he's backtracked on his mission says quote nah this is all the stuff that he said there I'm not even gonna talk on that any tough decision on streamline operations significant workforce production pc gamer shared Similar statements on the studio representations, representatives. Echoing conf confirmation of its layoffs is still unclear how many employees were affected by the move. Midnight Society did not immediately respond to Decrypt's comment on the request. So there's a tweet there, you can read it if you want. Long info. On Friday, Dr. Disrespect, aka Guy Bean, or I Herschel Bean, returned to the streaming service of YouTube title The Truth and the stream disclosed the studio's. Oh, okay, was cutting his workforce. Forced me to lay off people from in a society, the streamer said, blaming Twitch employees. Cody Connors, yeah, initially resurfaced his years old allegation of streaming his own missions from June. Okay, afterwards, a perpetuated, hopefully, I say perpetuated, perpetuated, yeah, EX, ex employee took to social media and explained that they had been let go. Due to the workforce reduction, 50% of the Midnight Society was laid off today, which is four days ago. Super extra recent compared to the one that's eight days ago, so at least I was on time on that a little bit. Myself included, ex yeah, concept artist from Inside Society, Eric Hillquist, said on Instagram, I don't know if these are good people or evil people, who knows? Maybe they're good some people that didn't deserve to lose their job, but his empire is just getting destroyed. It's like the digital version of Rome, Italy. Rome was a Milton Day, and Dr. Respect, he's let's go champs. The champs are here, video game champs. A lot of that shit, it's literally fizzling right before our very eyes. Not trying to sound over dramatic, it's just the way I'm visualizing it. But Dr. Disrespect, its relationship with Dr. Disrespect, a.k.a. Guy Herschel Bean, that's his real name, Herschel Bean, following the allegations and the appropriate messages and reminder, yep. Interview with Decrypt's August Dead Drop creator Quinn De La Hoya, Hoyo, announced that the studio's plan starts early access to Dead Drop in November and eventually ship the fully featured game in fall of 2025. <laughs> that might not even come out at all. Many fans have supported, come out, supported me following his live streams, live streams or live streams, Live streams believing that he can, he was banned from Twitch and kicked from Midnight Society as a result of baseless claims, but Bowling reaffirmed the Discord chat. 
is not truly the case. You gotta be careful with Discord, man. Anywhere in these social media platforms, about to use any speculations on that one real quick. Be extra cautious, especially if you're a freaking teenager or even college kids. Be real, real super crazy. Not crazy, but extremely super. Not, don't have to get freaking jumpy or paranoid, but or sleep with one eye open sort of thing. Just be self-aware. Don't self-indulge yourself in the social media lifestyle. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all these other social media platforms kicking on it. They're not real life reality. They're not physical reality like this. Physical reality like this. Physical reality like this. Or physical reality like this. Like this straw or this freaking fork. That's real. That's physical tangibility. You know, this drama shit is nothing new. It's going to bite everyone in the ass eventually. It's, I have a bit of it bites me one day. I hope not. And that's it. That's all I say for the matter here. Peace. I'm going to start out. Thanks for watching. Please like, don't take any of the jabs. Stay away from Big Pharma. Don't take, take any of the CRISPR, the eugenics stuff. Don't take any of the big government nanobot stuff. No matter. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay Bye. See you next future commentary video. And I'm out. Rest in peace. Dr. Respect's career. He's just. He's. If, unless he got the bag and he wants to go to the Cook Islands or Maldives Islands or one of the Caribbean Islands, I change my name, change my persona, and change. Get a facial identity Botox thing if I was that dude. In my personal opinion, I don't know. This is the end of the doc. Let's go, freaking champs. All right. Champions Club. Like, that's so fucking cringe, bro. I'm out of here. Goodbye, everyone. And I'll talk to you guys in the next year. I'm gone there.